Good evening. I'm sure everybody here today knows of somebody who's in a vulnerable position, whether that be an elderly relative that you know that lives in a nursing home, or it could be a dear friend that experiences depression. So Community Conscious offers low-cost complementary therapy to vulnerable adult groups like this who have low access to a preventative approach to care preventative approach to healthcare, excuse me, <laughs> but a high potential to benefit from it. And I'm here today to tell you how complementary therapy can build community and how together we can make a difference to people's lives. So I'm a massage therapist and founded this project. And after I graduated, I went to Bosnia to offer free treatments to people that had experienced the, uh, the civil war through a charity called Healing Hands Network. And what I learned from that experience was that people wanted to be seen as a, an entire person and that touch was a really powerful way of bringing people into connection with themselves, to be seen as a human being. And at that point, I wanted to offer complementary therapy to anyone in need, regardless of their background. And community consciousness is an extension of that wish. So who are we? We're a team of 16 professionally qualified uh, therapists and we offer um, individual treatments and blocks of treatments to the service users and the support staff of organisations around Bristol, like the Young Mothers Group Trust, and also like Second Step, the mental health charity, who are the focus of this funding bid with the Lloyds SSE. And we offer these sessions from our, our treatment rooms in the wellbeing, rooms in Hamilton House as well as in outreach at the day centres of the organisations. So to look at the bigger picture, there are cuts in government funding at present and this is leaving vulnerable adults in a more vulnerable position, that is people that experience isolation, long-term unemployment. And so to put that in perspective, one in four people will experience a mental health issue in their lifetime and each year this is costing the NHS £77 billion pounds in lost productivity, health care and benefits. So it's not just an issue that affects individuals like you and I, it's an issue that affects everyone. So why are, are complementary therapies important for the groups that I mention? Well, in my experience as a massage therapist, it's all about connection. It's about positive connection with self and how that leads to positive connection with others and it's the relationships between people that create the fabric of community. And so I'd like to share a story from one of the two successful pilots that we ran with Second Step as a joint partnership for the, the Lloyds funding. Uh, there's a support worker, a peer support worker. She has a lived experience of anxiety and that's why she's in that role, to help other people in a similar position. After six weekly sessions, she described an increase in her ability to cope with the causes of stress in her daily life. She described having the tools for self-care that enabled her to be resourced to work with her clients. And she also signposted our service to clients. And four months on, she's still receiving sessions with us. So that's really significant. And the preventative approach to healthcare is important because we help to, to nurture people before they reach crisis point. And we hope to alleviate the demand on the already stretched resources of the NHS. So what next? We've got a strong working model. We've tested out a working model using the, the pilots. And we're hoping to run a rolling low-cost clinic to fulfill the social aims of our enterprise, to bring complementary therapy to anyone in need, regardless of their background. We need to become more financially sustainable. We've already come very far. Um, but I mean, that's why I'm here today, to talk with, with you. So one idea that we've had, um, we're currently launching an on-site clinic in the premises of businesses. And we're going to charge professional rate here in order to subsidise the cost of vulnerable adult treatments, not just to connect those two communities, but also to encourage and assist employers to look after their staff. So how can you help? We need you to use our service. If you're a corporate business, if you're a social enterprise, or just an individual in the audience here today who's wondering how can I access this, come and speak with us afterwards and we can tell you how we can tailor a package of treatments to suit your needs. You can promote us if you've been inspired by what you heard today 
come and speak to us, share this information about Community Conscious in your social networks, look us up on Facebook, look at our website, communityconscious.org. And thirdly, you can support us. So, like I said, to bring us closer to the ideal of financial sustainability, we welcome donations. So, again, come and speak to us. But don't just take my word for it. Upstairs later, we're going to be offering eight free massages to eight lucky people. <laughs> We've got a chair up there. So, um, come and see my, me and my colleague, Kirsty. Um, sign up. See how this can benefit you today and also see how together we can benefit the wider Bristol community. Thank you.